What's up, modern stutters? This weekend's been a pretty busy weekend. I'm gonna show you before and after pictures. All this area right here, we cut all the brush, the trees down, and chipped it all up. Unfortunately, it was a rainy weekend, so I really didn't get very much video on it. I'll put in a couple of clips I did. I'm gonna go walk around and give you guys a tour and show you what we got done. And then I'll give you a beer cub update. That was all grown up with white birch and pine trees all in here. We had a small little apple orchard, an old one with wild apple trees that we cleared out. Well, basically we got the one by the road that was covered. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then if we go in a little bit, we got nine. 10. We had a few apple trees like that one right there that was leaned over like this and there was no saving it was half dead anyway so we had a couple of trees the apple trees we had to cut up but now we got some nice apple wood right there for smoking maybe we can smoke our own bacon and ham this fall yeah that'd be great look at all the wood chips we got woohoo yeah look at all these wood chips we have right here for our back to eating garden. We can put our pigs out here or the chickens out here and have them spread them and make a nice back to eating garden out here. I mean, we just got all sorts. There's so many different kinds of trees in there. There's apple trees, there's cherry trees, there's pine trees, there's elms, there's hemlocks. So, I mean, it should be a good assortment. It's not just like it's one kind of wood. That should really help with the beneficial bacteria and fungi, having all the different kinds of wood in there. Now you can actually see our house from this side of our property. Down in there all looks nice. We were thinking about doing a barn in there. Let me go back in there and show you the soil. I think it'd be a shame to build the barn on top of all this nice soil. I mean, you just kick this soil around a little bit and <laughs> I already got a worm. But it's just so rich and I think oh, there's another worm. I think we'll, another worm. I think we'll end up putting maybe the pigs out here this spring. Start them out here, let them root this up, and we won't get a garden in here this year, but we'll be able to use this for a garden area next year. And in the apple orchard, we're gonna run the chicks and let them clean that all up for us and fertilize it and see what we can do over there. I mean, this was just all overgrown and looked like crap. And now it looks so nice. We were able to clean out down here and chip it all up. We spread out the wood chips. I'll probably bring some more wood chips down here and just cover all this up. There's a lot of rocks and little stumps in here, so you're not going to get any good grass growing in here. So let's just take the wood chips and mulch it so we don't have to worry about pucker brush growing up every year. Oh, 
Oh no, you caught me without my hat on. We got this broody hen right here, I'll show you in a minute. And we're going to stick all of our eggs that we got out of the nest box today under her and see if she's gonna hatch them out, including one duck egg. So when I go near her, she ain't gonna be very happy. See? So this... It's not very nice. This is why I think she's gone broody. Oh, come on, Mama. Sit on all them eggs for us. She's not very nice, guys. Be a good mama and hatch them eggs out for us. That'd be kind of cool. Right, Mama? Thank you. We are down here at the scene of the crime where the bear cub was hanging out. The fishing game came the first time and we talked with her. She wasn't comfortable with trapping the bear cub without talking to her boss first and having him look at the cub. He was gone to southern New Hampshire releasing like four or six bear cubs that day back into the wild. So they were coming over the next day. Well, unfortunately that night it rained out and the bear cub must have hightailed it in the woods. It was raining the next morning a little bit when they came back. We walked through the woods. We couldn't find the bear cub anywhere and it hasn't come back since. They told me if the bear cub comes back, they're going to put out a have a heart trap and catch it. I haven't done any updates because it's been a little rainy here lately, so I wasn't expecting him to come back. But yesterday was a beautiful sunny day, so I thought maybe yesterday he'd come back out, but we haven't seen him. So we don't know what happened to the bear cub. I hope we see the bear cub again, and if we do, we'll call Fish and Game, and they'll put out a large have a heart trap, pick him up, and they'll bring him to a rehab facility here in New Hampshire, and then release him back into the wild, which I think would be the best thing for him. While I was out walking through the woods with a fish and game bear biologist, we stumbled across two grouse. They jumped up out of the woods and kind of scared us a little bit. And then we stumbled on actually a snow hare. And I took, was able to take a picture of it. We got pretty close. It was hiding in the tree. I'll put the photo here and just let you see it. But it was kind of neat. The snow hare is changing back from white to brown. So it's kind of spotted. And then I was just kind of stuck there in the pine tree. We got pretty close to it. It's a big one. And it, it wouldn't move. It just stayed there. I thought it was... I thought it was, I think it thought it was still white and it was blending in with the snow, the background pretty good, but it was sticking out like a sore thumb. Huh. So guys, I hope you liked the video. Hope you liked all the updates. We have a lot of cool stuff going on here at Lumna Acres. We're going to be busy, busy, busy this spring. Busy as bees. Speaking of bees, I don't think our beehive made it through the winter. We've been doing a video a day challenge for the whole month of April. So today is April 24th. We have six more days of uploading a video a day for this month. And we'll see how far we can carry it through. And if we can keep doing a video a day this summer, we will. But we should be changing up the schedule. and We'll keep you guys posted. If you've been liking seeing the daily videos, let us know. Leave it in the comments below. Give the video a thumbs up. Share it. It really helps. Don't forget to subscribe. And for any new viewers over here from Fouchomatic, I wanted to say how you guys doing. And thank Esther and Nick for sending you guys over. And we'll see you right back here next time at Lumna Acres, where we love to change the status quo and we challenge you to do the same thing.